everyone, welcome back to Gypsy Fae Creations. Dear here. Today's video is going to be kicking off a series of soaps inspired by cocktails or drinks. They're also inspired by these cute little straws, those paper straws that I've been seeing everywhere. They are a thing they're in right now. Everyone wants to drink the fancy cocktails out of them. Because honestly, plastic straws are so bad for the environment. They're not very biodegradable, and I know a lot of restaurants are trying to ban them, even different countries, different states here in the US don't want them in restaurants anymore. More reason to use a paper straw is because they are so cute. I will give them that. They're going to be really cute in some soap as well. Uh, starting off today with a minced mojito. Stay tuned for a lime margarita and an iced tea soap as well. But let's get started on the minced mojito. temperature. Pouring in my lye water and sodium lactate solution and I'm going to give it a whirl with my kitchen vibrator. And I'm getting a lot of comments about people either loving or hating the fact that I call this a kitchen vibrator. And I know I've explained it in a couple videos mm. but I'll do it again. Um, it is an ode to the Two Fat Ladies cooking show. They are my favorite. Um, women to watch when it comes to cooking shows and they just are goofy and funny and say things like kitchen vibrator. So they're the ones who came up with that term and it just kind of stuck with me. So that's why I call it a kitchen vibrator. Um, I'm, I'm not like a perverted person or anything like that. Trust me, I am very much a prude and you can ask any of my friends. So kitchen vibrator and oils. Let's give it a whirl. Green soap today, lots of green colors. Set this to the side. I know I got this kitchen vibrator because it is detachable, but you know how many times that I just don't detach it and instead I'm just struggling with it? Trying to teach myself to use it properly. <laughs> All right, so the colors I'm using here, they're all from Nurture Soaps. I've got a New Leaf Green powder in this guy, some Jade Green Crystal in this guy, and in here I'm gonna put a Laurel Green Mica. So let's split that up. I'm just going to go back over and mix in those colors. Alright, now we're good to go. I'm just going to go back over these and kind of scrape the bottoms of them because it's kind of sticking that mica. And then the fragrance I am using today is called Sparkling Mojito, and it is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It has about 1% vanilla in it, so I did add a little bit of vanilla color stabilizer to it. I'm just going to split that up into each one of these. And stir it in. I think it's supposed to be a dupe of like a slackened candle maybe, um, like the ones they sell at Bath and Body Works. It is a very bright, fresh, fruity, citrusy smell. I don't know if it smells like an actual mojito. Um, it's, a, it's a little exaggerated I think, but you definitely get the point. Alright, so stirring that into each one of these. I can't 
say that I'm a huge fan of mojitos. Um, I think I like margaritas better. If I had to choose, it's a margarita. Big fan of margaritas. Me and my two best girlfriends like to get together every weekend and we're usually trying to make margaritas. Big pictures of margaritas. And that is, just, I'm looking forward to that with the warm weather. Just sitting out back and sipping on margaritas. That is just a lovely thought. <laughs> Alright, and then for this soap I'm going to do a in the pot swirl. Just pour these different greens in this one green here. Favorite cocktail, if you drink, what is it? Leave it in the comment section down below. I'm also a really big wine drinker. Um, sweet reds. And <clears throat> Irish whiskey. I sound like an alcoholic, don't I? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna scrape out this guy. Uh oh. Add this guy. Can't wait to see how all these pretty colors play out. All these pretty shades of green. Kermit the Frog would be happy. He would be so pleased. All right. <clears throat> Let me bring it in for a closer look, and I will start pouring into this mold. Just give that a little swirl, in the pot swirl. Look at that, it's pretty already. Just give that a little whack. And then I'm going to spray this ice purple alcohol. I'm going to go get the icing together because let me show you what's going on top. Get some lime slices and these are the paper straws I was talking about. I've cut them into three and so one straw makes three and they'll go into each one of the soaps. So let me get that ready. Back to ice in the sky and give that one a little spray again with the isopropyl alcohol. And then I've got a Wilton 1M tip here. If you guys are interested in using the same icing that I'm using here, I did make a video showing you how I make my not so secret recipe. It does involve a kitchen mixer or a kitchen aid and patience. But I love this icing. It's extra fluffy. It even floats if you want to use it on bath bombs. All right, go back over. back up. I'm 
gonna go back over with this because the embeds are gonna be the straws on the side and I'm gonna have the straws sticking out of this little puff of icing here. Lime slices. Turn this around. I'm going to try and position these on each. Oh, yeah. All right. Slippery. Look at that. back over and we'll put the straws in. And these are just for show, like if you're going to make soaps and put these in or if you're going to buy this soap, you're just going to pull this out. It's not going to stay in the soap, just for decoration. is even better that they're plastic on uh, plastic paper and not plastic there we are and then I'm gonna go back with the uh, in front of my face my snowflake sparkle glitter from Brambleberry if I can get it open and sprinkle that on kind of make the sparkling mojito look. And then I'm gonna go get some melt and pour and add a little drizzle to this. So I will be back with that. All right, so just a little melt and pour and Firefly Mica by Brambleberry. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this all on top of here, like so. give this a last spray with the isopropyl alcohol and I will be back in 24 to 48 hours to cut it. Up close look of this gorgeous gorgeous looking soap. So pretty. I'm going to cut this and I've lined it up the best I could because I'm afraid those straws might get in the way. So hopefully this goes smoothly. There's the inside. You can see there's definitely the distinction of the three different greens in there. And it smells so good. Let's see if the rest of it goes as, as nicely. <laughs> It. it looks so yummy. It smells really good too. So far so good. Beautiful. I will be amazed if I actually get to this whole bar, this whole loaf, and not cut up a lime in bed. It will be amazing. I'm only halfway through, really. 
I'm already thinking it. <laughs> I did it. I think I've mastered the embeds on the soap. I didn't cut one yet. So like I was saying, I have other scents that I have lined up for this collection. I have a lime margarita and an iced tea. So be sure to stay tuned for those. Here's the last one. Love them, love them all. They are the coolest. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the soaps that you see me make on this channel, check out my Etsy shop. I list them on there, so whatever's available, you guys can purchase. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more fun soap making videos. You guys can leave me any questions or comments down below. I promise I will get back to you. And until next time, guys, smell you later.